Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and it's our one week update for our how to grow with me section. So as you see, our plants have developed quite a bit since last week. Let's actually start from the right end here. Look at how beautiful this let these lettuce heads are starting to look. They're actually beginning to act look like a actual lettuce head now. It's getting nice and compact, nice and big over here. And there's a ton of new leaf growth from last week. This thing must have at least doubled in size, I think. And I actually removed the paper a tiny bit just so I was looking at the roots. So I wanted to show you guys, see what it, you can see what it looks like. And you can see the water is basically just about and run out. So we're gonna come in and refill it. And look at how this beautiful root system right here going all the way to the bottom. Now, I wanted to mention something for those of you who are just starting out with growing hydroponically. When you see that the water level is beginning to drop and it's getting almost down to the bottom and it's about to run out, although it's tempting to top it off, that means basically refill it back up before it runs out. I know it's tempting to do that, but you want to wait for the solution to basically go almost down to the very bottom, almost down to nothing. Basically, when you see that, at that point, you could wait a tiny bit right before it dries up and then you could wash out the container and refill it. Now, the reason why you don't want to refill it prior to it running out is because if the nutrients are constantly submerged in the hydroponic fertilizer, they're, they're never going to keep on growing and they're going to have everything they need readily available for them right there. So you're not encouraging root growth and development of the root system. Now, if you let it dry out a tiny bit, especially when we're talking about like things like peppers, peppers love to dry out in their grow medium. So you want to always let this thing almost run out and then refill it. And guaranteed, you'll have a stronger, better looking plant as well as a much more developed root system. Sometimes you look at the roots and you see they're small, not much developed down below. Now, what's happening down below is just as important as what's going on up top. So I just wanted to make a quick mention about that. Now let's cover this up, keep it away from the light. And I'll tighten that up a right after this video. And if we continue along here, basically to the kale over here, looking nice and beautiful. Look at the size of these leaves. And each plant here is basically like this is one plant right here I'm holding. Now you could see it has several leaves that you could come in and harvest if you wanted to right now. And the ones in the back are looking nice and beautiful. This one is actually lacking a little bit behind, but if you recall, this was the one that didn't germinate and I actually replanted a seed over there. So it had a little bit of a delayed start compared to these other two beautiful kale plants behind it, but that's perfectly fine. So I think I'm going to maybe give myself a harvest, maybe over this weekend, and I'll show you a little harvest. Sorry about the dog barking, that's just my dog Mickey in the background, doing his thing. And right here we have our arugula, and the arugula is looking unbelievable. If I, oh yeah, there's actually a bullet right here. The arugula root system is just unbelievable, I think. It grew so well. Like this is like the smallest one and look at how much, how many roots there are. This thing looks really good I think. And look at how healthy white these roots are. Tell me these aren't some of the best roots you've ever seen. Mine is these black spots. That's just basically a tiny bit of the cocoa core that fell below. I'm not worried about it at all, as you see. Not affecting my plants too much. But I mean, if you have a lot of cocoa core down on the bottom, it would probably be a good idea to give that a good rinse out so take that up and the swiss shard is looking very good i think although it's lacking a little bit behind in size growth once it actually starts growing like it is right now this was i knocked this a little bit over a little earlier which is why i put some clay pebbles just around hopefully supported a tiny bit more but basically fell over again i think i may have damaged it a tiny tiny bit but it should bounce back i see the leaf growth is continuing to grow and get nice and big and let's just zoom in a tiny bit so you could see oh that's funny you could actually still see the seed is still stuck on the leaf right here 
Let's see if I can wiggle that off. There we go. And that's basically the seed that it was started in. Always amazes me to see a tiny little seed and develop a huge beautiful plant like this. Plants are very amazing to me. And if we look at the, what the root system looks like down below, you can see a nice beautiful healthy root. And as you recall, the color of the root of the plant is the color of the, of the root system down below. And we'll take that out in a little bit. I don't want to actually damage this leaf here. Let's see if I can pull that out. There we go. You want to be careful with your plants. So we just leave that alone. And basically all these plants here have the same hydroponic nutrients. It's a mix of Master Blend 41838. I put two grams, calcium nitrate two grams, and Epsom salt one gram. And I basically fill these jars up to about 400, 500 milliliters. And as you see, it takes about a week for it to basically drink everything up, a week to two weeks approximately, when it's about this size for the lettuce. And the kales and the arugula and Swiss chard will probably have nutrients for quite a bit, being that it's still a small plant. So we'll just keep that going. And if I harvest over this weekend, being that I do only weekly updates for this section, I will definitely record it and post a video about that. This way we could harvest together for those of you that are growing along with me. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to try to answer everything as best as I can. And as always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And just real quickly, sorry, before we go, some of you may have been wondering why the lettuce is down below here. These plants are pretty young in their, in their stage and they want a ton of light as much as possible so I kept them the same level. But the lettuce however got so big and tall. These leaves are about 4 inches, 5 inches tall now, each one. And it got very close to the light and lettuce does not want to be too hot so I dropped it down here, here below. And as soon as I dropped it down to the lower level here, basically on the floor, right underneath the light, it's about, I would say, maybe 12 inches away from the light. And it's doing, I think, very well. Lettuce likes a little bit cooler temperatures. And here on the very bottom level, it's a little bit cooler as opposed to being higher up closer to the lights. And you want to keep the lettuce, the temperatures down because if it gets too hot, the lettuce will start to bolt, which was basically will start to grow upwards and that's at which point it begins to go into flowering stage so if you want to keep harvesting lettuce and keep it edible once it goes into flowering stage it might get a tiny bit bitter so just something to keep in mind so keep keep watch of your plants if the seed starts to, sh to bolt up a tiny bit try to drop it down maybe cut off some of the leaves and see if it bounces back usually it does and that's just pretty much what I wanted to end with. So, thanks again.